In our previous MeshTastic video, we covered the new MeshTastic user interface and how to install it on the LilyGo T-Deck and the Seed Studio SenseCap indicator, making them standalone MeshTastic units. However, since they are standalone devices with no internet connectivity, they don't have maps and require you to load them on yourself. Luckily, there's an easy way to load some basic maps, and that's what we'll be covering in today's video, so let's get into it. The process of getting maps is a bit more involved than you might think, but luckily there's a page on the MeshTastic GitHub with some basic downloadable maps that can get you started, and we'll include a link to this page in the video description so you can follow along. Now on the page, they have these four zip files that contain four different map styles. You can download them all and be able to select which one you want from the device or just download whichever one you prefer and use that. We'll quickly go over each one and what they look like for your reference. So this is what the Atlas map looks like. And then here's what the Dark Matter Brown map looks like, which is my personal favorite. Then here's the OSM map, which stands for Open Street Maps. And finally, here's the Positron map. Now we'll need to load the maps on a micro SD card that's no bigger than 32 gigabytes. If you have one that is bigger, you can create a 30 gigabyte partition, but we won't go over that in this video and assume you're using a 32 gigabyte card or smaller. If you don't have a card, 32 gigabyte cards are pretty inexpensive these days and I'll include an affiliate link to one in the video description below. Now first we'll need to make sure that the card is formatted as FAT32 and this is easily done with a tool called SD Card Formatter which I'll include a link to as well. After installing the SD Card Formatter, open it up, select your card, and have the Quick Format option selected. Then we can go and hit the Format button. Once that's done, our card is ready and we can close the formatter program. Now back on the GitHub page, click on one of the map zip files listed. I'll do the dark matter one for this demo. Then on this page here, click on the download button to download the zip file. Once that's done, click on open file, then select extract all. Now we want to change this path to extract to the root of the SD card we just formatted. So go and hit the browse button. Then look for the SD card on the left here and select that. With that selected, we can go and hit the extract button. Now it's a lot of files, so it'll take a few minutes to do this. Once it's done extracting, we'll now have those maps loaded onto the SD card. If you want to have additional map styles available on your device, go ahead and download the zip files for the maps you want, and then unzip them to the card like we just did. So with the maps on there, we can eject the card from the computer and put it into the device, and then turn it on. Once you're booted into the MeshTastic user interface, we'll first want to make sure the SD card is being seen. From the Home tab here, scroll down and it'll either say no SD card detected or show the SD card info. If it says no SD card detected, you may need to turn the device off and then back on. Once the card is showing, we can tap on the map tab on the left to get us to the maps. Now if we tap and hold on the map tab, that'll also let us select a map if we downloaded multiple. Now these basic maps we downloaded don't have anything zoomed in this far, so we won't see anything initially. We need to hit the minus button to zoom out until we can see the map. Now after zooming out a bit, we can see the map as you can see here. Now this is the maximum level we can zoom in with these basic maps, and it is possible to download your own maps for specific areas, but the process is a bit involved currently. According to the MeshTastic GitHub page we're on, they mentioned that they're working on providing a graphical tool for easy downloading of map tiles, and I would wait for that to come out if you need these extra zoom levels. However, if you are familiar with Python scripts and want to give it a go, they have a link with a Python script and instructions on how to do it. Now I should set some expectations here. Maps contain a lot of data, so don't expect to be able to load neighborhood level maps for the entire globe, country, or even state. 
and have them fit on the SD card. To have maps downloaded to that level of zoom, we're looking at only being able to fit a few cities or counties depending on how big they are. Now while I do wish these included basic maps had a few more zoom levels, each level drastically increases the file size so it's understandable and these will at least give us a general idea of where other people in the mesh are. That'll do it for this video though and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out on future videos and we'll be doing another one when the easier or less involved method becomes available. But this video should get you started. If you'd like to also help support the channel, you can do so by using our coffee link where you can support us one time or become a monthly supporter. If you prefer, you can also do the same via YouTube using the super thanks button or by hitting the join button and becoming a monthly supporter. Thank you all and have a good one. <laughs>